All right, it's 4 a.m. No, it's fur a.m. Because we're going to do some monkey fur. Monkey fur. Monkey. Monkey fur. God. It's cringe, right? What are you going to do? I'm going to ask your life. All right, so we're going to draw some fur. I'm not the greatest at drawing fur, but um, I'm going to show you my technique on how to do it. It's fairly simple once you get the hang of it. It really doesn't matter what the shapes are. Once you get the hang of it, you'll kind of, uh, you'll figure out how to draw, how to make fur. Okay, so I found this on Instagram. Shout out to Eco Health Alliance. I'm also using a new mic, so hopefully that should save me a lot of time. Okay. So first things first, I'm just going to make a sketch of this guy. Alright, on a bushy tail. Fair enough. So I have my sketch here. And basically what I did is I made all the lines going in the direction of the hair. So you want to look at this and you basically just look at the direction that his hair is going. You know, his hair kind of Whatever, whatever way that hair is going, that's the way that we're going to draw. Like here, hair, 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 hair. So that's essentially what we're going to do. sketch. We're going to go back to black. And we're literally just going to start working all this. I'm going to make all these dark parts. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a layer underneath. And then I'm just going to take my... I don't know what brush this is. It's like a fat airbrush. But I'm going to make the opacity really low. That's good. And I'm just going to kind of give it a value. So I'm just going to give everything a value. So later on, I'm probably going to blend it in. But it's just going to save me a little bit of work later on. So especially when you have to do a lot of hair, it's good to like give it like a base. So then later on you can add like whites and highlights to the hair. Like if you need to, essentially later on, if we do some, you know, regardless of what we do over this, you can always, you always have that. So it's good to have just like a base. And even for the sketch, it looks, it looks good with a, with a base. I can even do his little feeties. All right. So I did that on a layer, on a layer below. I'm going to do most of the hair in... I'll do it underneath the sketch layer. Because I might just want to... It's always good practice to save your sketch layer. All right, so...
group, hide those. So that way I have the sketch, I have this saved. So if I mess up, I need to go back, I have that saved. All right, so, and also it just kind of helps, I feel more confident messing with the sketch layer if I have one saved, if I need to go back. All right, so, I say that all the time. All right, so, oh well. So basically, I'm just going to follow this hairline and just apply soft pressure. And this is just, I'm using, um, it's just an airbrush that I have, so, the, so it's pressure sensitive. Nothing fancy. I changed the name, so I don't remember what the original name was, but I think it's just a, you know, a paintbrush. And then you essentially just keep, all the answers are here. So you just, you basically just render this the way that you see the hair and you can look and you see all your answers there. You can see every way that the hair is going. So it's essentially like you're shading, but everything goes in a very particular direction. It gets kind of tricky and like things like this. But the hair turns, you know, it comes, it's long and then it like, here it sort of like bunches up. So I'm just going to like copy that kind of turning of the hair. I don't know if that makes sense. So here it kind of goes here, but then some it goes down. It's a little, it's not too clear, but you basically just match what you see. And eventually it'll just come together. And the more you do it, the more you'll kind of, you know, you can take liberties to do, to do it how you want also. Sort of like a sort of like a lion's mane almost. But I don't want to make it I don't wanna I don't want it to look like it's coming off the side of his head, so I just have to be careful. See this hard corner? That's that's just a shape. That's a good shape right there. He's good fat, strong forearms so I'm gonna give him nice round and I'm taking kind of liberties here but since his forearm is round I'm just giving him a little I'm not going straight across with the hair as I'm sort of Doing them on an angle. This little elbow. And it's a lot of rendering. So I might have to speed some of this up. I don't really like the hairbrush. I don't I don't really use it. I mean, I probably could. But kind of like how I kind of like how this is almost like a toupee on top of his knee. And the hair gets so long. It's pretty really cool looking. It's like a proper part. So that's how we we'll treat it. Parts that are darker, I just press a little harder. I don't have to go crazy just yet because we're just kind of laying the framework. And this is pretty much going to be dark over here, so it's not that huge of a deal. 
but I'm moving a little fast since since this is a demo. All right, so that's a good start starting place. Darken areas that I know are darker. So this kind of just like saves you time because it's a lot of work to render out all of this fur. So I'm just matching like these little values, these little dark areas. Essentially I'm just matching those. Let's go with a regular paintbrush smudge. And let's just... Let's just pretty all this up a little bit. So this part, it's easy, it's just labor intensive. So essentially you're just gonna use all those strokes that you just made, but you're just gonna make them, you're just gonna pretty it it up. A little thick. And this is when it starts to look like hair. And this smudge brush again is just graffiti. I think it's just a fat. What is it? That's spray paint. Um. What is it? Drawing, sketching, touch-ups, airbrushing. That's what it is. So it's just one of these airbrushes, a fat airbrush that I renamed to Graffiti. I don't know why. I think I used to do graffiti with it on here. But anyway, where was I? Was I here? Or was I here? Oh, I want smudge. That's what I want. Okay. All right, so. And it's a lot of work, but you just want to pretty everything up. This hard line right here is the gray, is the, is underneath. So I'm not gonna worry about that just yet. So you kind of get in a zone, and I'm not thinking about each stroke, I'm just kind of thinking about the whole shape. Like everything I want to, I want all these to eventually fold in. And sometimes I'm going this way, sometimes I'm going back. It all just depends. I'm just gonna merge this layer. So now I just merged that gray underneath. So when I have situations like this, I can also manipulate it. There's no reason for it to really be alone. I'm committing to it. So even though this arm is going to be really shadowed, you don't really want to skimp too much on the hair, because then it just won't look right. So don't ever try to like skimp out and like not do hair because this arm is going to be dark. It's just not going to match up. See, since I. I want this hair to fold over. That's the direction I make the arcs. This looks like it's pushed a little bit down, so I'm just gonna use Liquify. And I'm just gonna push that 
Oops, I think I'm on pinch. I'm just going to push that back up. Like so. Good. And now we're just going to redefine the boundaries. I'm going to lower the opacity so it's not so strong. So essentially, I'm just really light. I'm just making like all these thick, you don't really want that. You don't really want those like parts that just look like they've been missed. So I'm just manually, oops, the brush is a little big. Another little trick. Alright, looks good. Alright, now I'm just going to do a quick clean up again. Not bad. I'll do the face and stuff later, but that's pretty much how you do it. And I can keep going in. I'll probably have to go back in and like, I'll use the same brush, but I'll use it as a race. <laughs> Excuse me, that was horrendous. <laughs> go back in and Do some highlights. So another little trick is I'm going to duplicate this just to give them a little more depth. Merge that. Great. All right, so this fur is looking pretty good. I'm happy with it for now. This can be a little softer. It's a little wild over here. And we have to get it that color, so. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm going to select this layer, add a layer on top, and then I'm going to use this color. And I'm gonna color in the selection. Oh. 
not a good color that in all right that looks a bit weird so I'm going to change this hard light kind of works I know this isn't the most technical way to do things but sometimes you know you just figure it out color looks great actually that's great All right, so. Let's see what happens when I do this. Ooh, that makes him even brighter. Kind of like that. Give him a little more. And then, if I really want to get crazy with it and match up his color. That's kind of where he is, right? I'll just duplicate this layer just to keep just to keep a copy of it. We'll on alpha lock that and then we'll color in Feet are like a brownish. I'll go pretty dark with that. I'm gonna go ahead and merge these. Oh, hmm. Not too good because I can't merge them. That's fine. Whatever you want to do, buddy. I get it. But I just gotta clean this hand up. I don't want to do all that work on the fur and then have busted hands. I can't have that. Alright. Let's do something with this face. Looks like it's a kind of a white head. We'll make it this beige color. something easier for me to see. It's pretty good. That looks nice. So devilish looking. I think that looks about right. Alpha lock this. All right, I'm just gonna color in these lines.
All right, so the head is supposed to be in front of the hair. Okay, so... Essentially what I have to do is... Let's see in the photo... Color your eyes, bro. Alright, so if you want to know what kind of monkey that was, it is a bald yukari, or yukari, yukari, or bald-headed yukari. It's a small New World monkey characterized by a very short tail, bright crimson face, and a bald head and a long coat. The bald yukari is restricted to Varzea forest and other wooded habitats near water in the western Amazon of Brazil and Peru. Thank you, Wikipedia, and thank you all for watching. Hopefully you got something useful out of it. Um, oh, also, uh, total strokes made. Total strokes made, 25,625. Tracked time, four hours and 29 minutes. So yeah, thanks for sticking with me. Hopefully you got something out of it and uh, I will catch you in the next one. All right, I'm gonna try a bigger smile. But thank you so much for watching and I will catch you on the next one. Did it look real? Does it look real? It's fake. It looks fake. <laughs>